What's up guys, we're back. I'm gonna walk you guys around real quick, just show you what's going on. I got some interesting things to kind of show you because there's a nursery that's uh, selling all of their stock of trees that they got. So if you're looking to get like an avocado tree or a, a guava or um, they got a bunch of other stuff too, like mangoes and things like that. They're really like discounting them and just selling them. So I'm just doing this to kind of uh, share. Sorry, I had to pause there. The ghetto birds are flying around right now, so something's going on. But uh, the whole point of my uh, my YouTube channel really is more about sharing knowledge, sharing different things that we do to kind of, one, grow avocados and then a lot of fruit trees. And if there's a good deal, I need to be able to share it with you guys and hopefully you guys can get in on it. So I'll put some footage of the nursery and I want to show you my Gwen. But first, we gotta stay hydrated. So, Mammoth Brewing Company Yosemite Pale Ale, one of the best places in the world, Yosemite. So, one of we like to go there a lot. Actually, it's been a it's been a while since we've been back, but um, we try to go once a year. So, let's see how this is. All right, this is too good to not share with you guys. I'm gonna zoom in here real quick so you can see. So looks like a lot of stuff is going on sale right now with them. These are all really big, 15 gallons. And I think he was saying that they're $85 a piece. So something like this looks like a Hess and I mean this is really tall. They're like 25 gallon big box. Huge. So he had a bunch of 15 gallon Kent mangoes and he was selling them for like $45 a piece which to me is a good deal. Also, there were some guavas in the 15 gallon for about $45 also. I think he was saying the 15 gallon avocados were like $85. And considering the size, I think it's a good deal because they look like they were last year's 15 gallon that you would buy at like a nursery somewhere else. So essentially they look like they had an extra year on them and they were $80, $85 a piece, I think. So I went, but <laughs> I needed a truck because these trees were actually a lot bigger than I thought. So there was no way I was gonna be able to fit them in my SUV. So I needed to go back with the truck and actually pick up a couple of, uh, I'm thinking of picking up a couple of mangoes and uh, guavas and maybe another avocado. So initially I was showing you my dragon fruit, which I have a couple and I'm still getting flowers. Here's another one. that's that's flowering so it's kind of cool but let's go check out this uh, Gwen <clears throat> so this is good by the way <laughs> so here's my Gwen and uh, let me put my my IPA down what I like about the Gwen is how productive it is what's I mean the, the fruit is really good the flavor is really good I really am glad I got one of these trees in my yard. But my Gwen fruits so much that it like essentially just fruits itself to death. I mean this entire branch, I counted this branch, there's like 25 fruit on here, just this one branch. So this branch isn't, isn't gonna make it. The leader which is here is already dead. I think all of this is probably going to be no bueno. So, but we do have some fruit in here that are good, and I expect these to get a little bigger and build a little bit more size. But, well, you know, I'm hoping that these aren't going to 
do what these did because these as you can see they're kind of like exposed to the sun also and the branch is like turning yellow so I expect this thing to kind of break off here or just not make it but I really like the Gwen if you guys are looking for a Gwen it fruits a lot it's kind of like the gem supposedly I haven't had um, my gems fruit a lot yet but I expect them to kind of really accelerate but this Gwen, right off the bat, right away, started fruiting and producing a lot. So, if you guys find one, you should get one. Sorry, I got a little distracted. I, I think we thought we lost our little puppy because I left the gate open, but she was okay. Well, in any case, this is my gem. I'm up at the top in my little mini orchard here, and this is my gem as of today, October 2nd. 2023 hopefully you guys are doing good uh, the temperatures are starting to go up supposedly this Friday we're gonna hit like 95 97 degrees here and at least in my area so if you're not checking your irrigation double check make sure everything still works have a good one talk to you guys later see ya